I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for me, Sagittarius. Now the good news is something can come to fruition this month, like it's almost like the pieces are falling into place, you know, it's like the chess game of life, it's like you say something, then you have to wait for somebody else to come back and put their input in, and you know, life really is like that, it is like a chess game, and so right now I feel like you've been playing this game and finally you can, you know, see that things are starting to happen, so that's good news. Let's have a look at your career and money. Now, over this month, money will be well spent if you can spend it on your health and well-being. I mean, uh, of course, we all know it goes about saying if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. But, you know, right now, it's a good idea to put some extra focus on there. Also good to reassess your personal image, okay? So um, you may be happy about it, but, you know, think about... What image are you presenting to the world or to different areas of your life? And is it what you want people to see? I mean, first impressions really are so powerful. They really do count, okay? So this month you have an opportunity to just put a little more focus on that area. Uh, also with the full moon on the 6th, it's a good time for you to reassess your goals. Like uh, how, how far have you come? I know it's, you know, where we're in May, so we're almost like mid-year, so it's a good time to look at the progress that you've made. Um, and don't be, you know, don't give yourself a hard time about it. I mean, you know, you can change your goals. Nothing set in stone. Nothing, there's nobody that's saying, well, you know, you set that at the start of the year, so that's what you have to do. I mean, four or five months down the track into the year, you may find, hey, I want to do it differently. Okay, so that's a good time to do that. Now, Mars is in your solar 10th house. Now, this gives you the will and determination to really go after what you want in life. Okay, so good time to focus on, on all that, your image, your goals, set it, go for it. Now, love and romance. There's an eclipse new moon on the cups of your solar seventh house. This is the area of partnerships and love and, and romance. Um, so right now, it's possible for you to meet a love mate if, you, if you're indeed looking for someone, if you're looking for love. Now, what you need is like a mind, body and spirit connection, um, Sagittarius. And right now, it's possible for you to find the person okay if you're already in a relationship then this is a good month to just work on developing your relationship more getting into deeper levels uh, peeling off the onion and just getting to know each other and make sure that you're both walking the same path I mean of course you want to keep your independence but you want to have similar values in life as well okay now, for your defining day for May, I've put down as the 27th. So a discussion around your personal life can change things, uh, even if it's changing the attitude that you have about a situation and person, okay? Now, your lucky numbers for the month, I've given you 6, 7, 13, 24, and 27, and I've left one number space there for you to put your own lucky number in. Have a great month, Sagittarian. Um, I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.